In this lecture, we are going to know about different types of coupling elements in abacus and their advantages and their uses. So first of all, let's learn what are different types of coupling element. So in abacus, we can define coupling by three types. First one is called the multipoint constraint. Second one is the kinematic coupling that is called a kinkoop or generally we call it RB2 element. Third one is called the distributed coupling or we call it Kupkin. Also generally we call it RB3 elements. So let's learn about them each one by one. So if you go to the Abacus software, you will see the option of coupling or the constraining. You will see kinematic coupling, continuum coupling or structural coupling. And along with this, you will see degree of freedom that is constant along with this. U1, U2, U3 that is for the translational and UR, UR2, UR3 that is for rotational. By default, we keep everything is constraint. So now let's understand its uses. For example, let's say we have a beam like this and onto this beam, we are going to apply a bending load or any load we can also apply the axial loading. So this is our bending load. One way is that we can apply the load on each and every node onto this front face. So generally this is not always a good idea because sometimes due to the node selection problem we can have multiple errors. So to avoid these types of situation we connect these nodes of this face by a master node. And this connecting element is called the coupling element. And we apply the complete force of 10,000 Newton in this case onto this single node. And automatically due to the coupling element, all the complete force will be distributed equally on each and every node in that direction. So that is the use of coupling element. One more advantage is when we have circular section. Now let's say I want to apply some constraint or force onto the center. We know generally for example in case of wheel or any circular section it is constrained from the center. So to constrain it from the center in the software we connect it using the coupling element. You can see this is the master node and all are the connecting nodes. First let's understand the kinematic coupling that is called the kinkoop element or we call it RB2 element. In RB2 element we have one single node and multiple node. That single node is called the independent node and the multiple nodes through which it is connected is called the dependent node and this is the one of the frequently used type of element. And in case of distributed coupling, you can see the single node is called the dependent node and the distributed node or the multiple nodes is called the independent node. So rigid link to distributed load will not induce the stiffness. To understand this, let's consider this case. For example, let's say we have two points or two nodes of any coupling and we are joining using the coupling. So this is my master node oh, and this is the coupling element. This is basically a single element. This one and this one are all the single element. And we are going to apply let's say some force F onto this node. So automatically the force will be distributed equally according to the number of nodes. In this case this is F by 2, F by 2. And the thing is this force distribution does not depend on the distance from the node location. Here you can see this force is far away from this left side but it does not depend on the distance from the node. It will automatically distribute the force equally. This is called this is the in case of RB2 or Kinkoop element. For example when we have three nodes connecting the force will be distributed F by 3, F by 3 in all three nodes. But when we have RB3 element, in the RB3 element, the force distribution will not be equal. 
it will depend on the displacement value or generally we specify a weightage factor for this you can see the force will be f1 f2 f3 so general application of this coupling element is they are used to transfer load they are used to for applying the constraint for fixing or applying the boundary condition they are used to join two bodies and they are used for the bolt connection for example in case of assembly we do not uh, create the meshing of bolt generally we connect the element using the rigid element or we call it rb element in our problem let's say we have a circle like this so along with the circle we uh, pick up the two layer of element first one this is the first one this is the second one the second one we generally call it is a washer and we connect it using the rb2 or kinematic coupling in rb3 this is distributed coupling okay so we have learned about uh, uh, multiple coupling let's say uh, okay now let's go to abacus about this and go to open in your project folder open up the file that is plate coupling now in this plate coupling we are also going to solve this problem so if you go to this interaction and here you will see interaction property okay you can see we have already connected these elements here using the coupling element this is the master node so i'm going to show you this from here in the constraint manager go to edit here you will see kinematic coupling continuum coupling and structural coupling okay so let's understand the meaning of this so we already know the meaning of kinematic coupling so in the distributed coupling we see two options one is continuum coupling and one is the structural so basic difference is structural coupling is used when we have the 3d element in case of other type of element we use the continuum element and one more type of coupling that is the mpc that is multi point constraint to understand this we will go to the web browser let's say abacus mpc and we need to go to the abacus documentation here select the first two link so you can read it about yourself using this link so basically in the mpc okay go to last one so in the mpc we have some more option like selecting the linear quadratic bilinear and then in this basically we can select the multiple types of joints for example let's say i want to show you is yes first one is mpc as beam second one is mpc as cyclic symmetric mpc as elbow so in this mpc option we have many more option depending upon the type of geometry so you can read it about in the abacus documentation so earlier we have performed the analysis of plate with a hole and we have applied the force like this on each node so in this example we are going to use the coupling element and we are going to apply the node on a single master node which we are going to perform in the next lecture